Hey guys, Jonathan with you again. Please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Hit that little subscribe thing. It makes a big difference as we begin to grow the channel. I'm going to keep putting out content regularly for everybody because I love doing this. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit that link to grab completely free access to my original book, Bridging the Gap. I'm going to send you a chapter, short chapter every two days for about a week. You're going to love it. So make sure you grab that free book if you're seeing this video. Today, we're going to talk about a quote from the psychologist Rudolf Dreikers. You ready? Ready? Let's do it. A person does not see reality as it is, but only as they perceive it. And that perception may be mistaken or biased. All right, this quote could take us deep down the rabbit hole of Nietzschean perspectivism, which I'm sure many of you are going, what did he say? So Friedrich Nietzsche, the, um, the continental philosopher of the 18th century, was, you know, really focused upon this idea that uh, it's our perspective upon things that uh, create reality. This is a murky area of, I guess, metaphysics and philosophy. Uh, is there an objective reality? Uh, is there just, or do we just create the world with our thoughts? I like to say to people that if you hit your thumb with a hammer, you're going to have a very strong encounter with objective reality. You know, you, you, there are certain things that just seem uh, objectively true, regardless of people's perspective of it. You know, and, and if people want to argue, I think, for a completely subjective basis for reality, that uh, nothing is real except what we decide is real, I draw people's, back, uh, draw people's attention back to things like, you know, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These tragic historical events have a very objective character. So I think that there are definitely objective realities. I believe deeply in the concept of knowable truth. But what this quote is getting at is, is something different and, and something important that, yes, there is difficulty, there is reality, but we do have some control over how we structure it, how we tell ourselves story about, stories about what happens to us. So, you know, classically, you can have two people that come through a very similar chaotic, traumatic childhood and then... One of them ends up, you know, addicted to drugs, blowing their life up, and another one doesn't. And this is a mystery. You know, the longer I've done this work, often when I'm interviewed, I say to people that the greatest thing that still I find interesting about this kind of work of personal development and growth is this mystery that's in all of us, that some of us really grow and do difficult things and shape our lives, and some of us don't. And I, you, you can build systems and structures around, and I guess that's what I'm trying to do and encourage people but at the end of the day, all of us have this incredible freedom, this incredible freedom to kind of shape our life in particular ways. And that's what Dreikers is getting at in this quote. This idea that reality is happening to us, but we do get a great deal of control about how we actually structure our experience. And it really is narrative based. It's very much about the stories that we tell ourselves. My good friend Bob Litwin uh, wrote a brilliant book about this, you know, this idea of the stories we tell ourselves. You know, Bob's story is that his wife died of cancer and he was really struggling and he felt that the, his life had really come to an end. And he went through this long period of telling himself this story. Now, there was reality, right, for Bob. There was the loss of, you know, his beloved wife of many, many years. There was this genuine experience of depression and sadness. But then eventually he decides that he'd been telling himself a story about what all this meant. And then he began to tell himself a different story. And it sounds so simple, doesn't it? We just tell ourselves different stories. But the longer I do this, the longer I live, I, I think it's pretty much reality. I, I think that you can really... Think carefully about the stories you tell yourself about whatever's happening. We do it so quickly. Um, the other day, I took my daughter to a soccer training thing, and uh, she really wasn't sure if she wanted to go. She was nervous. She didn't know who else would be there and uh, what the coach would be like and what you know if she was going to be good enough for this particular uh, program. It was really interesting to coach her through this because in the lead up to it, she's telling herself this story. She's telling herself this story all about, you know, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? It's understandable because we're, we're made that way as a, as a creature, as a human animal. We've evolved to kind of scan our environments for th threats. So she's telling herself the story. She turns up, coach is an absolutely lovely guy, and it's a brilliant training session and no problems at all. So can you see that there was reality, right? What was the reality? The reality was a training session was happening. That's the reality. That's the fixed thing that is true. 
But then she was able to construct a negative story around it that had no basis in reality. When she got there, she found out the story wasn't real. So isn't that true? We do so much of our suffering in life on the way, you know, to events, on the way to difficult things. But once we get through it, it's amazing what we do. And I'm going to have a program coming out on that soon. I've been thinking deeply about that issue, about how we do all our suffering before things happen. And I've got some ideas, so stay tuned. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be releasing a short program on that that I think you're going to love. So summary, you get to tell yourself good stories if you want to. So whatever's happening to you in your life at the moment, I know some of you are going to be watching this thinking, that's impossible, that's ridiculous, you don't know what I'm going through. I don't know what you're going through. But I know that many men and women have been through probably worse. No matter, you know, And you may be going through some difficult stuff, but you can always find somebody who suffered a lot more. But the ability to tell ourselves good stories and better stories, empowering stories, you know, post-COVID, we lost a great deal, couldn't travel, um, a lot of stuff broke down for me. But I was on the motorbike the other day and I'm just like, no, I love to teach. I love to encourage people. I need to just keep going. I tell myself a better story. Got to get reach out to people again. So friends, whatever you're going through, look at the story you're telling yourself. Look at the perspective you're taking. You can control this. You can. We, we, we often grow up thinking that, uh, you know, whatever's going through our head is reality. And I am slowly learning. And I teach this because I'm one of the slowest learners on this stuff. But the truth is, we can tell ourselves much better stories. All right, God bless you, everybody. Uh, please make sure you subscribe. Grab the free access to my book in the links below. My name is Jonathan Doyle. I'll have another message for you tomorrow.